Hey guys, good morning, good Tuesday morning. How is everyone? I hope you all are doing well. Um, so we're gonna do a share first and then quick share and then we're gonna get busy on this. Remember we started this? So we're gonna work on that, have some ideas. So, <clears throat> anywho, and um, then we'll get busy. So I had some awesome Things sent to me it's by some friends. First of all, my girlfriend Joyce. I'd say she's girlfriend. Yeah, she comes in to see me. I like her. Yeah, we met through the shop, but we've become friends. And she's a doll. She went to Scotland. She's from Scotland, which anybody that knows me knows I love Scotland. Scotland. Good morning, Gina. Um, anybody that knows me knows I love Scotland. So started with Braveheart and Outlander, and then I went and I just left the country. So. Um, I'm trying to, my hair is all icky today, y'all, so, oh, wrong way, wrong loop, I can't, it's reverse, I can't tell what I'm doing, anyway, she got me, her niece made this ornament for me, Joyce got it for me, but her, her niece made it, isn't that gorgeous, Jackie, she, she jumps on here some, she's in Scotland, and she's found me, and so she's enjoyed me, and so love that, I'm gonna point this down so you can see it, look how pretty that is, isn't that Gorgeous. Love that. And then <clears throat> she sent me, um, Miss Jackie sent me, and she said there's more, but she couldn't get it into her suitcase for the weight. She sent me, okay, get ready, which I'm loving, tartan plaid scraps. <gasps> Anybody else dying over here? Look at that. Look at that. I mean, this is Woodford County all over. All over. I don't know the names of these, so I'm going to have to find them, okay? But I love them. And this one is gorgeous. We all know this one. I mean, so beautiful. Is it not? Look at this one. So I think I can try to copy some of these also with our stamps. This one is has a little red. This one, oh, look at that. The blues and the greens and the reds, gorgeous. Love this one. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just so excited about what I can make with these. Totally in love. Okay, and then my friend Lee sent these to me. And she's like, when are you going to do something with these? These are decoupage queen. I don't carry it. Um, I'm, it's rice paper. So, I know that Lynn Brundage, she made these. So, this is from her line. Ellen J. Goods. Yes, and I guess she did these too. Okay, so this is Lynn. So, there's. I'm probably going to put these on journal cards and stuff in a book. Chili, is it chili? It feels great here. Look at this one. I don't know. That's beautiful. This would be a great cover. Look at this one. All kinds of blues and stuff. This one is sweet for angels. You can make ornaments. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. Well, good chili morning. Okay, good morning. Yep. And look at that. That would be so cute for spines. Or wrapping, you know. That's what that is. This, I'm just going to put him right on a board. And how gorgeous is he? Woo! That's beautiful. This is gorgeous. These are just awesome backgrounds. There's some more of Lynn's that she did. And this is cute. These are like Christmas cards. This will go in something. I don't know. This is cute. These, I'm just going to make these. Probably make ornaments. And this will be a picture for Christmas. Cute. This is glorious. May just frame this up. Why mess with perfection? Also, same with this. This is an awesome, she said blue. She knows I love blues, isn't that awesome? She's so sweet. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeousness. And then this one, and look at all that gorgeous Christmas stuff right there, and more. So, yes, I have got to do a deep dive and figure out what I'm gonna do with these. I will be sharing some, some I won't be, who knows, but. Well, we're gonna work on, so I want to share some of that. So I appreciate everybody so much who loves on me. We are going to be doing this thing right here, <laughs> this thing. What I wanna do is finish stamping it. So what I did, you know how, you know I love my mask, right? I'm trying to get it so y'all can see it. I made one for the basket, and I just took the stencil. I have these, I have more coming, I think. 
Um, I just took the stencil and I just traced it and then I cut it out and I just kind of winged the edges just to make it. Hey, Kate, good morning. So, if y'all like this, I'd love for you to share. If you have people, friends who aren't on Facebook, I am on um, YouTube as well. So, there we go. Um, looky there, looky, looky, looky. So, I'm just going to, I'm going to do a little pixie spray. I'm going to put that down. And we're going to build up and then we can always... Don't get it on your tartan, girl. Don't get it on your tartan. Didn't I get a sweet present from some sweet peoples? So Jackie Turner, she sent those tartans to me. Because her um, aunt Joyce is a friend of mine. So we're going to put this right here. And what I want to do is um, I'm also maybe going to decoupage some of these. I don't know. So, because I'd love to have, I want to have a little one right here, so I may end up just decoupaging and gluing that down. So, I don't know. But let's do some, um, you know what, I don't know. Do we want, I have this pumpkin right here. I'm trying to decide, do I want to do one, I know I want to put a big one up in here, right? That's, we're going to watercolor those too. I know I want to put a big one up here, but I also know that I did not, I should have masked it off, and I didn't. So I may have to do some decoupaging. So one, I'm going to, okay, so let's mask this back, and one is going to be kind of behind it, like right here, like that, so it's piled in there, and some little ones, so let's, let's just do that. Let's see, and if worse comes to worse, we'll paint it all over, hey! How are you, Lulu? Do you go by Lulu? Is that right? Or is that your name? Tell, tell me your name. You know, I, you all know I'm a bit of a goober. So, I think we're going to just put this, or maybe put this right here. Like it's back behind, like that. And then we can layer on top of it with some little ones. And maybe decoupage, because I didn't really, I didn't plan it out very well. <laughs> Imagine that. Me not planning anything. Okie dokie. All right, so let's get our pumpkin stamp right here. And let's ink it up. Someone asked me about this. I said, we're going to work on it today. Joy. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. You need to say Joy from Florida. Remind me because you know I'm brain damaged, y'all. Brain damaged. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is that the name of your shop? Give me deets. If you want to put your shop in here, we will follow you. That'd be great. If anybody has a shop you want to put in the comments, let's, let's all rise together, okay? So, pull this back a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to, let's just, we're just going to go for it. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, Dorothy. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. I so appreciate y'all. If you, any hearts and, um, any hearts and, sh and uh, sprinkles that you give me and just comments totally, let's Facebook know that hmm, people like her. Maybe we should share her to more people. Okay, so then we're going to go in and we're going to just cover this like that. And then we can use, we can stamp, we can use these things to, um, then I, what I think we're going to do is like, put one in front of that. But I want, I was thinking I want to do some of the little pumpkins and have them kind of piled up. Does that make sense? And then we're going to have to put glue some in front because I didn't think of it. I didn't do very well. But I want, I'd love to put one. I want to put some down here too. Like tumbling down maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. Any ideas? Good morning, Tammy. Guys, tell me. Tell me what I need to do. I'm just winging it here. Just winging it here. So I have some really, I have exciting things. Let me share. Um, Friday, on Friday, and if, you're, if you happen to be in the area, which I'd love for you to be in the area, 
at 9.30, I'm opening my doors way early for coffee, and I'm going to be painting. Who remembers Bombay and Company? Who remembers this? Is this the one? Yeah, that, that side is just crazy. I'm getting my hair cut today, so I didn't really worry about it. I, was, I just It was so gross. I had to clean it before I go. Who remembers Bombay and Company? I'm going to be painting a Bombay table and showing you how amazing the um, paint is for DIY paint. So... Um, and I'm going to be doing that. It's going to be coffee and a paint demo. So any, if you have any paint, furniture painters in the area that you think would love to learn about the DIY paint, please send that to them. It's free. The coffee is free. The coffee, wrong way. The coffee is free. It, the demo is free. We're just going to get together and um, I'm going to share the amazing paint. So, okay. I will, I've, I've been posting that. So now I think I'm just going to... Oh, uh, see, they're not going to show is the thing. They're not going to. Do we just need to stamp a bunch and put them on here? Well, don't be impressed because I'm just going to. I'm just going to actually, I'm just going to glue them on. So let's do this. Let's just do, let's do some vines and fill in that. And then we'll just, and then we'll do decoupage it. That's what I think I'm going to do because I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. So we're just gonna use these that I have cut out and we're just gonna glue them on there. Sounds like a plan to me. And we'll see what happens, all right? And we'll just glue, maybe if we're gonna glue that one. I don't know what I'm doing. What's new? What's new to that party? My brain. I, when I, I know people think, hey Carmen, I know people think you've been busy, girl. I know people think I'm I'm just kidding when I say that, but I, I mean I'm struggling right now, using my um, brain just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna just have this kind of go off to the side and up and around like this. Then we're gonna use it again. Okay. I think I have um, just, I mean, I know when they're in a basket, they don't do that, okay? So, yes, yes, we're going to stack them up. I just don't know. I'm going to do a lot of glue and, and stuff, so just be prepared for that. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I know, I know that they don't have leaves like this. I do know that. I know that it's not normally, they're not attached like this. This would be on the ground, but I just think it's nice little filler, you know? So, these probably do need to be sprayed. At least these little, just a little bit. The little tendril thingies. Yes, so let's just, I just do a little bit of pixie spray. It can be any kind of spray. It doesn't have to be this kind. It can probably be hairspray. Someone mentioned that. Okay, so then I'm going to just do another round of leaves that kind of come up and go that way. I don't know what I'm doing. Good morning, everybody. If you're in the area, I will also, okay, because I'm doing that, I will also be going live. It's going to be at 10 o'clock, and my friend Lauren is going to be here. I won't be doing this thing, but she's going to be doing, being my cameraman, and she's going to be going live showing what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, we'll see. Thank you. Okay, I am gonna do me. Oh, look, they didn't. It didn't stick. Oh no! Come on, stick, stick. I didn't get enough glue on those tendrils, did I? I think those are so important because that's so fragile. And I'm gonna tell you all. So I, you know, I love the sisters. They didn't realize they needed to make them color till after they did them, and then they discovered that. And so the what takes this off really good is acetone. It doesn't melt it or anything, but it also takes off all of the um, India, India ink. I just got to do them on the other side. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, let's ink this one more time just to make sure. And then we'll get to decoupaging. We're going to paint it and then decoupage. So, it's going to be a layer thing. We may not get done today. Who knows? So, I'm just going to go up like this. Fill in some more and maybe do a little bit over here 
like over in here just for some background and then we're gonna take all the mask off that's the best thing and then we'll start gluing and I made a mask for the basket and I got a color I got to paint it I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that but we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it so let's do let's just have it kind of come up like that I don't know what I'm doing guys I don't know we could stamp this and then decoupage this too so it's gonna be a little decoupage and I'm just gonna decoupage paper we'll see we'll see okay let's take all the mask off and see what we got show you what we got there we go Let's clear all this away. We will leave these up. Um, we can do another. I have big ones in there. I'm just going to put the stamps on the ground because we don't need those. At least I don't think we do. And we'll put this. We'll put these over here. We're going to paint first. I might need that little one. So, let's just put this right over here. There we go. Okay, clean my space up. <laughs> And I know I use Sandy Blonde. I don't want to go too long. Oh, come on. All right. We can always... I got to do this, and then we're going to paint the... Um, we're going to paint the pumpkins and stuff. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's just see. Here's what I'm going to say. Worst comes to worst. <laughs> it's just horrific. Guess what we can do, guys? Guess what I will be more than happy to do? Paint right over this puppy, okay? You know that. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna work on this basket. I have, uh, I'm gonna try and make an aged bushel basket. So I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, a little bit grungier and stuff. So, but I'm just gonna go in and put at a little bit watered down um, sandy blonde, just a little bit, just to give it, like just a little bit of a base, just a wash on here because I didn't have it just gonna do a little wash and then we can add stuff to it if we need to which we can totally do all right there we go just a quick wash and this is sandy blonde DIY paint I'm just doing that if it gets on my pumpkin, I'm fine with that too. It will totally be okay. Any questions? Yes, I do like the leaves with the basket too. Any questions, guys? Ask me questions, cause I'm um, uh, I'm just gonna ramble because I have had <laughs> crazy couple of weeks. Well, not totally crazy. I'm gonna make I'm gonna move this. That's gonna be my cleaning water because I have a whole fresh water over here, and I don't want to get the paint paint with the water paint because that water paint is a little bit more forgiving in the thing so oh my week y'all I have two bandits because you know I'm vintage bandits and my boys are bandits I would so covet your prayers for my well for both of them but for Joseph he he's my autistic boy that's in um and he is just needing to make some decisions we'll fix that Anyway, okay. Oh, just painting it helps, doesn't it? Like that. Just painting helps a little bit. Okay, let's see if we're going to dry this real fast. Any questions? Any questions? This is just a board. I can give you the dimensions if you want it. Um, so, but that's kind of where I am. A little bit with my, my bambinos. Joseph's having... He's just making some life decisions, and he's two hours away. And... Woo! He made a decision, and he's feeling like it was the wrong one. So, yeah. 
Lots going on and going into the busiest season of a retail person's life. Good morning. No, it does not. Brendan, it does not. It, it is separate. This is a, um, a pumpkin. You might be, this is IOD from last year or maybe two years ago. And it does not come together. This, um, the basket is separate. I have that on my website, which is right here, if anybody's interested. And the pumpkin is separate. But what I think, um, if anybody is interested, just message me and I can hook you up with um, a way to get this. Or I can find someone that still has it and sells it. Because I love, I'm just doing a quick thing right there. Okay. So now we're going to start painting our pumpkins, which is fun. And we're going to set you right there for later. Let's let you dry a bit. And, you know, look, we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about messes. The stamp pack is amazing. The, the pumpkin is amazing. And it was last year because I had like three or four from this year. So, but if you send me a message, just DM me and um, on Facebook or Instagram. And I can, I'll, I'll come up with some solutions for you to have that. Okay, so we're going to work on this pumpkin. We're just going to start with basic orange. I, I don't ever clean my palettes, y'all, because, you know, you can I always kind of start with orange. I love this color right over here. And then you can always, you can go back in and you reuse it. So don't ever, don't ever, like if you're watercolor, I am not an expert by any means of the game. So don't, um, don't take me as an expert because I don't know. And I did not seal this paint, so it's going to soak right in. So I don't know what it's going to look like. We're just going to find out. We're just going to do this together. And if I mess it up really bad, well... Like I said, we'll just paint over it and do it again. Yeah. Anyway. Um, this, this, so there might be, if anybody is an IOD and you have this, put it in the comments. And if you're on YouTube, I will, if someone does it, I'll drop a link for anybody who might have the pumpkin. Some of my, because I have other IOD peeps on here that might be able to help you with that. And if you can't find one, I might be able to hook you up with something. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, good, Tammy. Okay. The basket is a stencil. It is from Royce, and I do have it. Look at that. <gasps> so, are you Brendan, or are you, somebody, are you using somebody else's? So, let me know if I'm calling you the right name, because, you know, I can't say. It doesn't tell me. <laughs> but I love to talk to people. So, and thank you for joining me from YouTube. That's exciting. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to grow it all, y'all. You know, I'm, my shop is only open four days a week, but I'm here seven days a week. <laughs> and someone's like, she only works four days a week. No, I don't, sweetie. Marketing and everything, wow, so much fun. Okay, I'm just dropping down some color on this pumpkin, and we'll do the rest of them. Any questions? I'm just using this just watercolor. I think I have it listed in my, you can, I got it on Amazon. You can go get one from the Dollar Tree. There's some really good watercolors and I have not invested in that. I will. It just has not been, um, I've not been able to do that. We are going to add smaller pumpkins, but I'm, because I didn't think this out very well, we're going to decoupage them on. So this is like our backdrop and then we're going to go in and decoupage and glue them in. So that's, that's the game plan. We'll see how it goes. That's the game plan right now. And if I don't get it finished today, well, we'll just, we'll see if, um, <laughs> if I'll do it some more. We'll do it again. Yeah. Any questions? Please, you know I like to talk. And I'm just going to ramble on and talk nonsense. I... I do find that this is like, you know, I can't draw my son, man, the one who's, so he is in the BFA program at a school here in Kentucky, and he wanted to make movies, or he thought he wanted to make movies, okay, so I will clean that basket up, it's going to be covered up, it doesn't matter, hey, Jackie, I shared your, oh, honey, I shared your um, fabric, and I shared your ornament that you made, I'll show it again, thank you so much. So much. I love them. I love them. I got a message you and I haven't, so I apologize for that, but I'll do that after this. So love them. I am obsessed. I can't wait to use them in any capacity. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to try not to hoard them and not use them because you got to use them. You got to love them. 
you know? So, so do we want to make the, I think we want to make the leaves kind of brownish. We don't want, because if we're, if we've got these leaves now, kind of, maybe we'll do like a burnt green, a brown green. Is that a, is that a color? Is brown green a color? I don't know. We'll see. And if this is just, I probably should put a little finish on this real fast because the paint is just soaking up, but I may be, that's okay. We're just going to go with it. It's drying really fast. What we're going to do is we're going to take these. Okay, sorry. Oh, sorry about my head. Sorry about that. I have these that I stamped and done. I'm, we're going to paint these. Let's just do that while we're at it right now. And um, we're going to glue these in where we want to. These are masks that I made. It's going to be a little different. That's okay, because it's just paper. It's not special paper. It's not any kind of paper. It's literally the cheapest. It's not the cheapest copy paper, but it's not like it's the good stuff either. So I'm just going to add some color on those, and we're going to layer those in, like falling down here, tumbling. So that's that's the goal. That's going to be the that's going to be the next step. I just kind of wanted to give you all a little idea, and then we'll probably work on that next time next week, or maybe I'll add in extra time this week. Oh, guys, my subscription box is shipping today. If you got, if you ordered that, it's going to be open for, I'm going to keep it open for this month until the 15th, and then it'll close. And if I have any, because they're almost gone, so whatever, I just have a couple left over, I may put those up for sale, okay? And, um, but it will be, um, you know, those will be a little brown. Just That's what I'm going to do. So that's kind of the idea for that. Okay, I'll just put this right over here for now so y'all can see what we're doing. And then I'm going to go in and then we're just going to, I like to put that red. Where is it? Is it a little red or something? A burgundy. I love to add that in because Lexi does that because she's so good. She's like the queen of watercolor. I just adore her work. So pretty. So you just go in and layer it in, and it just soaks right in, and you get these awesome, like, blobs. You don't have to, I kind of love it. I, I, I kind of love it. So that's just me, but what do I know? I don't know much. And you do all that. Okay, so you see what I'm talking about? This may be a couple of days. To get it done. So we're gonna let that dry a bit and let it soak in and then we'll go back over it with like um, a little of this burnt orange. We can mix it in with it and it will make it not so red. It's just a layering thing in there. Guys, just a bit of layers. Just and it's not perfect because y'all know what I say about perfect. Perfect is for pansies. That t-shirt. I keep saying that. That t-shirt is coming. That is on my list of things to do for 2023 is my sayings t-shirt line. Okay, I'm just going to use this brown that I just tipped in. And we're going to just go in here and at least get the stems kind of because they're going to kind of be dried. I'm going to get this one as a smaller one to do these tendrils that are so stinking cute right here. Now, am I hitting it perfectly? Uh, no. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But who cares? You know, I don't, I, perfection is not ever what I'm looking for. I like, I like it to be a little squirrely, froggy. My husband says I get froggy sometimes. He's, he says I feel, I get to feel a little froggy. And so I get to feel a little froggy on the whole perfection thing. So, Anyway, we're just going to go in and just put a little bit of brown in areas, you know. I'm just going to do a little bit because you can't even see that up there. Get a little, get a little frog in, do whatever we want to do with these leaves. Okay, and let that dry. So, guys, that's just what we're going to do. We're just going to keep layering on the colors. And um, this has to dry, but I can try to do a little bit of, you know, color on it to bring in some that, like that. 
and then I'm just going to glue these, stack them, and glue them. How I mean, I might I could even stack it like that and put one over here. That's the goal. All right, let's work on this basket, okay? Color wise, color wise, but with watercolors. I know we want, I want to make it a little more like um, it's an old. This is gonna have some gold because I forgot about that right there. It's okay, it can be a little shimmery, right? It can be shimmery. We're good with some shimmer. Let me pull this over here so you can see my palette. I just kind of look around. I don't ever get rid of my palette and I don't ever clean it. I'm just gonna go in and drop a little bit of darker I kind of want it to be, um, I want it to be like it's aged a bit, you know? And you could totally go in and take a paper towel and pull it back some. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what that looks like. Yep. Let's see if that helps. So, yeah, you just want it to be, I just got paint on myself and I got paint on my cup. So, yeah, mm hmm Any questions? Any questions? You know, if there's some gold on here, I don't even mind that. You know, I'm okay with that. We want it to be like it's aged and it's an old one. I don't want it to be bleached out. I want it to be like it's been inside. You know, I don't know, those real old ones, aren't they really dark? Or the, were they stained or something? I don't know. The new ones aren't, but I like, I love the ones that are like a dark rich. And you can tell they've just been, I don't know. And we're gonna put one, we're gonna put some inside like this. You know, maybe do another big one, part of it, and I'll cut it off and glue it on there. I think that's what I'm gonna do, because I should, you know, I think that's that's kind of the game plan. Okay, anybody have any other ideas? Because I'm always open. I'm always open for any ideas, you know? I'm always open for any ideas with y'all if you think we need to do something differently. And maybe some gray. There we go. Like a weathered wood color from the... really watered it down. Guys, you are so quiet. Good morning. Hey, Paula, how are you, honey? I was like, I've got to call Paula. I was thinking I got to send you a text and call you. So I apologize. I've been very neglectful. It's just been, I'm telling you, it's been crazy. My husband was at Yellowstone last week. Did y'all see that picture? So cute. He and his son, my bonus son. And um, they had a really good time. But I was in charge of Molly. I was in charge of everybody. And this is Molly. For anybody who's new, doesn't know, that's my princess. Can I say she's rotten? He did leave me. Parmesan cheese put on her food. He did leave me instructions to, um, to that just makes me crazy. He left me instructions to give her ice water. She gets ice water, yes. Yes, I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. She gets ice water, y'all. Um, because she gets thirsty and she doesn't like it, not hot. Quote, quote, quote. I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. She's precious, don't get me wrong. So I, here's what she did. I was like, nope, nope. This is looking a little, little discombobulated. Don't panic. Um, I'm just going to kind of thin it out and then we're gonna dry it and see what happens. Um, she, she, she wants, she likes to get up and go to the bathroom whenever she wants to. And he will get up in the middle of the night and take her to the bathroom outside, like at two o'clock. He'll walk her half a mile at four o'clock in the night. And I'm like, and that's a hard no. So when he was gone, she didn't even ask. She knew better. Now I've, I've walked her, I walked her yesterday. I love her, I will walk her. But she, um, 
And I, I promise you, the first morning he was back, which was yesterday morning, I can't find my quiet one, Lee. I'm, I've got to go look for it. This right here, not a fan, so we'll fix that. Let's just dry it real fast and see how it looks dry. Let's just dry everything. She got up and woke him up. I'm not kidding you. Yesterday. And I was like, no. I shouldn't get up. She got up. I was like, let's go in the backyard. We're not doing this. Oh, well, yes, totally. She was like, I'm like, no. No, we're not getting up and going. It's dark outside. I'm not walking you in the dark. It's just not happening. And I said, neither is Daddy. And she was like, oh, that's what you think. And she was right. And she is back to her own tricks. She plays him like a fiddle. I mean, he is just like wrapped. And, yeah. Yep. Okay. So this is kind of drying. There we go. So guys, basically, you just keep going in and you just, I'm going to, let's do some, we'll do some more of them. Once it dries, it's not so bad. Especially if we go in and add some. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna watercolor these, and then I'm gonna have to paint them. I'm gonna have to iron it down, and then we'll glue it down. Um. Once it dries, it's not as bad. I should have sealed it. It may be pulling up the wood a bit, but I don't really care. I don't really care. You can see the grain. I kind of like it. Okay, so let's do a little bit to the leaves. We're gonna do a, let's just make a little brown, grainy color right here, maybe. Um, is that is that such a thing? Oh, there it is. A brown, greeny color. Brown, greeny color. Yeah. And just go in and lay on some green first, and then we could go in and maybe add brown like they're dying or not you know how they're drying and they turn brown I don't know I I grew pumpkins one time okay so we had a <laughs> when I was pregnant with Joshua so this is 20 years ago we had we ended up having a Christmas party I was pregnant so I was barely doing anything now I mean anyway so we were having a Christmas party and we still had the pumpkin on the front porch okay so um we, um, and that's just making me crazy. I, instead of throwing it away, I just threw it on the side of the porch real fast because I was pregnant, tired, you know what I'm saying? And we forgot about it. And the next summer, it sprouted and we had pumpkins all the way down our front yard. It was so awesome. Joseph loved it. And that's the only time. I have pumpkins, and I didn't know I didn't know to cut, to cut off some of the buds so that you could actually, you know, make the pumpkins bigger. But we grew our own pumpkins down the front yard of our house in our subdivision. It was so cute. We loved it. Joe just mowed, my ex-husband. He just would mow around it. It was so fun. Okay, so I'm just making kind of this brownish green color, and um, that way it's a little. It's not as, you know, fresh as it is in, when they're growing, which is so gorgeous. The vines are beautiful. But it's just going to give that kind of fallish color. I'm, that's what I'm going for. Anybody else? Anybody else seeing it? Or am I just making a mistake? Okay. So the, the packages are going out for the subscription box, y'all. We've got just a little bit more left. And then also all my freebies, my giveaways, they are coming. They're just slow. But look right here. Here they are. Oh, so it looks like Sorry Silk and Trim subscription box. It's not a box. It's a bag. But it's okay. Just go with me, okay? Just go with it. Just go with it. Don't judge me. 
Okay, and guys, all I'm gonna do is just keep on laying in some color. And then I'll probably be like, you know, harvest time. Isn't that fun? Okay, any ideas? Oh. Yeah, we didn't have in that one thing. Oh, now, Lee, you had your babies and you had your hubs. Y'all had a lot going on. You were seeing the zoo. It was a family vacay, okay? Yep. And he wasn't so keen on coming down to meet me, even though we're going to get him to move to Kentucky. Yep. So there we go, guys. There we go. What do you think? You liking it? Are we liking it? Are we like? Ooh, I kind of do. So then, just note, I'm going to come in and I'm going to um, take, I'm going to, you know, I can cut it down and decoupage it in and paint it and everything. Yes, Sue. What's the, okay, okay, guys, if this turns out to be awful, guess what I'm going to do? Because really, I've used minimal paint watercolors it's just my time i'll just i have not even used probably five dollars in paint come on look at that new makeup it's not blended up into your face beth so just try it guys just try it you can totally do it okay i promise all right guys i got lots to do i got to get things shipped i've got to get um this place cleaned up because i have the women in business of woodford county coming tomorrow and I, let's just say not ready and i'm getting my hair done in the meantime and I canceled lunch with a good friend because I just didn't have time. So, all right, guys, I'll be back on Friday, 9.30, 10-ish. It might be early. Um, so, uh, just be, if you are if you get my text thread, I will be sharing then. It's right here, 859-587-6551. That's for the latest news. Also, um, we will be going live, but I'll have a camera person, Miss Lauren, from the Cheerful Baker will be here. And um, I would love for you to come out and see me, okay? Yeah, I'd love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Brendan, I appreciate that, guys. I would love for you to share this. I'd love for you, if y'all have friends that, you know, if you, whatever you want to see me do, put it in the comments, send me a message. I will be more than happy to figure it out and do stuff that you all want to learn. It'd be great for me. So, yeah, I will, and I will keep working on this. And, and if I finish it, I'll post a picture, but lots to do today and um i will see you back on friday so make sure to join me i'll be going i don't know if i'll be doing yeah maybe i can do i will go off switcher off my phone so we may be able to do a multi-streaming to facebook and to youtube i'm hoping to do that